Uh, doing the music thing. I mean, it all started, I think, when I was about 11. Uh, I convinced my parents to get me a copy of FL Studio for my laptop so I could make little beats. And then started going to shows, and it all sort of spiraled, like, just kind of got obsessed and haven't stopped being obsessed. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. We have got a great guest with us today. He joins us live here on our big program. So if people want to uh, find you on social media or the websites or anything, how do they do that exactly? Yeah, so uh, all the social media will be Hillsborough Inc. Um, and then our website is playdead.rap if you want to keep up to date with what we're doing. Fantastic. Fantastic. We have got a great guest with us today. Hillsborough joins us live here on a big program. So um, talk to me a little bit about the uh, the writing process for some of your music, some of the different things that you're involved in, music-wise. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Uh, so, I mean, I usually will show up with, like, a minute and a half of music on my laptop. It's pretty rough, just sort of a bunch of guitars and maybe like a drum part and some vocals and there's four other people in the band so I'll kind of take it to them and we'll sort of start sifting through these little minute ideas until one of them seems interesting to everyone else and we'll start playing that and then we'll usually play it at a show or two to kind of see if it works the way we want and kind of workshop it that way and then eventually they get recorded but sometimes it takes like a good year of testing fantastic fantastic we have got a great guest with us today hillsborough joins us live here on 990 wbb up in rhode island so uh you have got a lot of great music talk to us a little bit about uh you know just some of the different feedback and different uh, thoughts and feelings people share with you about your music uh, I think people find it, at least from what I get told, that, you know, they find it cathartic or they find it, like, sort of gives them some sort of release, which I guess is the goal. So that's a good thing. Uh, definitely, we get, like, sort of a nostalgic, like, it, the music makes people nostalgic is sort of what we hear from time to time. So that's always, that's always good. Fantastic, fantastic. Hillsboro joins us live here on 990 WBOB out there in Rhode Island. Also, kjackradio.com. So, uh, what is on the horizon for uh, for the band and everything you guys got coming up? Uh, so, we're about to actually head out on tour for about three weeks in the western United States. Um, our EP just came out on Friday, so uh, it's going to be supporting that. And then hopefully, yeah, just a lot of shows in the next in the next year or so. Hopefully, going to get to see more of the more of America, which will be exciting. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, just probably starting to record our second album. That's, that's sort of the next next thing in my mind. Well, let's let's talk about the EP. Uh, you you mentioned it. Talk to me a little bit about this. The songs that are on it. What it took to put it together. Explain to us all about the EP, my friend. You've got the floor. Tell us all about it. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah, so I mean, yeah, it's three songs. Uh, Fell Asleep Dealer and White Trash. Uh, they're all sort of more aggressive than our first record. Um, we, started, we started writing them around the same time, but it just sort of felt like they were coming from a coming from a different place. I was going through a lot of really sort of intense stuff in my personal life, um, and I needed to I needed to get that out somehow. And so that that's sort of how it started. And then we just as we kept playing them with the band, it seemed like it kind of deserved to be its own thing. Um, these three songs sort of lived in their own world. Um, with the the themes in there, just just a lot more. I mean, anger for lack of a better term, but also, I feel I, I feel like they they all come from like a sort of negative place emotionally, to be honest. But hopefully, like people listen to them and see us live, that 
you know they can they can make some like positive emotional gains off that um but they're definitely all we, we recorded them ourselves at a studio um and oliver who plays drums in the band mix them and they just we're, we're really really happy with how big everything is sounding right now and it's definitely uh definitely direction that i think we're gonna keep going towards in the future is kind of trying to make stuff that is just as extreme as we want and uh, it seems like other people respond to when we do that as well which is good news fantastic fantastic so uh you guys have this amazing tour coming up talk to us about this tour yeah i'm i'm really really excited it's gonna be uh i think it's three weeks and we're going down from vancouver to san diego and back and then also dipping in to uh i mean let's say it's overhitting like salt lake city utah uh phoenix arizona um obviously like all the classic west coast stuff so like los angeles san francisco seattle portland um and yeah i don't know i really when i was like 18 i lived in the bay area and so the western united states is a very very sort of nostalgic place i really i really love it there and so th we're gonna yeah we're just gonna be in a van playing as many gigs as we can um playing the new stuff trying to connect with people and Hopefully, uh, hopefully make a bunch of friends and hang out with our friends that are already down there, and give people a chance to hear hear some of these songs live, which is going to be, uh, I think, to me that's sort of the the be all end all of all this. It's like the records are really important, but the sort of ultimate Hillsborough experience is definitely the live show. So just trying to get that in front of many people as possible. Fantastic. So talk to us a little bit about the uh, the live experience. What 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 is that like? For folks that have never seen you live, what 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 is a live Hillsboro experience? Uh, a live Hillsboro experience, we really just try to, you know, create the most, I guess, authentically high octane sort of show vibe you can have. Um, but we, try, I don't know. It, it's, I feel like, at least from my perspective, which is probably biased, you know, I, I, we try to create a space that feels really safe um and accepting but at the same time uh a space where you can get stuff off your chest and you know if you need to if you need to thrash around and cry or make out with someone or just like have a laugh then it's the place to do it that's what we're doing um i'm a little we usually end up like you know guitars end up getting broken and <laughs> it gets a bit gets a bit physical and it gets a bit volatile uh but it's kind of it's it's all part of the fun and it just sort of feels like it's one big like i don't know i, I would try not to have too much of a separation between the audience and the stage it's all kind of one big conversation um one one really loud conversation yeah it feel it feels feels really feels really good i think <laughs> i hope we have got Hillsboro with us today. They join us live here on our big program. So uh, talk to us a bit about some of the different places you guys are going out on tour where people can catch you. Yeah, so uh, we're playing, just to name a few, we're playing Permanent Records, Roadhouse in Los Angeles, uh, which should be a really, really great show. Uh, we're kicking off the tour end of this month in Seattle on the 31st with uh, Mold Mom. And black ends uh that we're really really stoked for it it's like a it's gonna be at like a punk rock flea market sort of vibe so there will be vendors and people touching while we're playing which will be cool um yeah we're playing just we're just really playing with a bunch of our friends i think we're doing a run with our friends chatterton out of los angeles doing some shows in uh in throughout california with them i'm just really stoked to get to see them every night but uh it's going to be a lot of sort of more intimate venues which is which is how we like it it's a lot of you know trying to be physically like face to face with people as much as possible um and yeah i think it's i think it's going to be a lot of like sweaty little rooms and i'm i, th I think it's going to be great 
Fantastic. Fantastic. Well, you guys are amazing. Thank you for Thank making you. as much time as you did for us today. Before we let you go, how do people uh, get involved with Hillsboro and uh, everything you guys are doing online? Yeah, definitely the best way to keep up with us is Instagram uh, at Hillsboro Inc. Just like, and Hillsboro is spelled with B O R O, not like the town. Um, that's the, that's definitely the best way. Uh, we're also on like YouTube and Facebook and Spotify and all the everywhere you try to find stuff. But yeah, Instagram is definitely the best way to keep up to a, with what we're doing on a regular basis. Awesome, awesome. Well, thanks for making some time for us today. We're going to play some of your music. Thanks for uh, hanging out with us, and uh, we will talk to you soon. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, my friend. There he goes. That is Hillsborough.